Welcome back to this episode of My Balls Are So Heavy. Oh, they hurt. <laughs> I can, let me drain them for you. Like little like water pus. balloons. I was thinking like a pussy, like little pimple, like, like having to squeeze uh. it. <laughs> Simple, dimple, puppet squeeze. Puppet <laughs> squeeze. I fucking love that audio. Dude, when I. W- Simple, dimple, pop. I wish maybe. Simple, dimple, pop. Oh my god, can you shut the fuck up, bitch? <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I now that I, it's not near me, because I think this with everything that I don't purchase that I see, um, when I saw the Elsa poppet, mm-hmm. and like there was an Elsa poppet, there was a Peppa Pig poppet, there was like literally every character you could think of, and like they were shaped like poppets, but I didn't have any cash on me, so I couldn't buy it. But I'm so mad I didn't buy it for Josiah. Although update on the among us pop it i fucking hate it it's just everywhere and it's such a nuisance and there's nowhere it can live also how did you feel last night like about the people we were with last night completely shitting on like fidget toys in general i was like kind of offended but i was like i under i didn't feel like they were uh shitting on it i think they were like shitting on the idea of like a grown person who's acting like they need a fidget and also like saying like it's actually distracting you more than it's helping you like put that shit down you're a grown <laughs> fucking man you can't do your work you're like biz- it's like giving a child a fucking ipad literally a fidget is just an ipad with no leds Ew! that just <laughs> literally made me think of like my nephew's fucking disgusting sticky ipad dude oh my god literally oh, you showed me a picture literally the most disgusting thing i've ever seen in my entire life like boogers smeared all over it and like cracks and like fucking cheeto dust and like just like so dirty but like like cheeto dust like coagulating in some of the boogers yeah yeah no it's it's not like separate events like they're it's like a (laughs) mixture of just like snot and boogers and pus but i mean they're little boys like what can you fucking do like are you gonna boys will be boys (laughs) I realize also I always have this loud ass fucking cup and in every single episode everyone can hear like my ice and my And cup. in the past few episodes you've been like Mm-mm. into the mic, yeah, you sniffed a couple times. Sorry, sorry. I, well, I'll blow my nose in my shirt next time. Actually, speaking of my shirt, I wanted to talk because you made a comment how someone was like, you should talk about like your outfits like each episode. This is the saddest thing ever, but <laughs> I, all, the science behind the outfits I wear on the podcast is literally like my body dysmorphia peaking and me being like i cannot be sitting in a chair on camera in anything tight because i will be so focused on what my body looks like that i won't be able to talk so i literally like put on any t-shirt that's like not hugging my body all the way like that if you watch the episode where i wore my sesame street shirt i like had my legs in front of my body the whole time oh that's like like sad i know it is girl Um, you're beautiful you're beautiful just the way you are and you shouldn't care about what other people think of you. <laughs> <laughs> we got best friends necklaces. See, that's how you know I love you because I don't. I know. I, I saw it. I saw it on you today, and I was like, oh, that like made me feel good because I, I when you when we were gifted it, I was like, this bitch is never gonna wear this, and I'm gonna wear it all the fucking time. And I saw you wearing it today, and I was like. Oh, like she really does care about me. I want to get. It made me tear up. I swear. We should get like gold versions. Plate. We could probably get it plated gold. Like that would be a fucking sled. And it would literally. I mean, literally, all they do is like put it in a fucking vat of water I and know. like electrocute it or whatever. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the science behind <laughs> electrocute it. Electrocute it. <laughs> yeah. Um. They literally dip it like fucking a corn dog, like a hot dog and corn dog uh, Wait, batter. The corn dogs from the fair the other day actually probably the best thing i put into my body in like six years i know it did help that we were also fucking starving like famished you could eat anything when you're famished and you might as well be eating at a michelin star literally like you could feed me the 7-eleven like rotisserie talk like taquitos when i'm hungry and i'll be like (gasps) this is the best food ever but i will say (laughs) those are the best food probably ever made um i never had the taquitos but i used to fuck up the chicken wings but i was like Ooh, a chicken see, wing monster when we I ate just chicken. had this conversation like two days ago but like i can't do bone-in meat at all like 
boner meat. Hey! I can't. <laughs> I can't do bone and meat because when you're <laughs> when you when you when you're eating the when you're sucking the bone. Yeah, exactly. It's a little gay. Like I can't do that. <laughs> I can't suck bones. No, because like when you're eating bone and meat, one. It's on the bone, which I shouldn't fucking see bones ever in my life. That's no, so sinister. If, if, okay, and two, the tendons, meat- uh-uh. The tendons and the fat, when you bite into that shit, it is like eating fucking rubber bands. It's like, the best taste ever. That's why I love like squid and octopus and like oxtail and like pig's feet because mm-mm, it's all like mm-mm. fatty, like like tendons and it's like, it's the most like It literally primal. is like a cultural thing, I think, actually though. Yeah, so you're being fucking racist, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, and? No. <laughs> um, but no, I literally, like, that is what makes me, like, in the most, like, let me clarify. This is the most... Joe Rogan shit you'll ever say. <laughs> <laughs> I am not vegetarian because I'm like, yas, like, save the planet. Like, of course, I'm like, yas, I do my part. But I am in any, any like, health thing I'm in, it's for vanity and, like, that's it. <laughs> Purely. Like, n- never get it twisted. Like... I don't have a hydro flask because I'm like, don't waste plastic. I have a hydro flask because if I don't have a hydro flask, I won't drink water and then I won't be pretty. Mm-hmm. Like, I like of course, like, God bless that I'm, like, helping the world <laughs> while I try to be pretty in, like, little ways. Yeah. But it it is never, like, I'm not skipping out on straws. Like, I will take a straw because I don't want my teeth to be yellow. Also, straws aren't the things that are killing the turtles. The I things know, that are the killing nets. the turtles are fucking nets. And... A lot of people would be like, oh my god, did you switch from being a vegetarian because you saw that? No, I'm sorry, like, that is not my duty, like... That's not my job, it's a corporation's job. We need to, it's the scientist's job to figure out how to get us lab-grown meat. Would you eat lab-grown meat? Yeah, because that's what, like, plant-based meat is. Like, that's basically, like, lab-grown. Would you? No. Would I take lab-grown meat in my hole? No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought that's I, what you Wait, it was basically what I was going to say. I was going to say, I, I can't say it because it's so gnarly. <laughs> I, it's really, it's really naughty. Should I just say it? Yeah. Would you fuck lab-grown pussy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a test tube, okay, baby. Okay, no, pause, because lab-grown pussy would hit, like, crazy. Alien, like, alien... <laughs> Alien versus predator pussy. I guess actually lab grown dick would literally, they could make it do the twirls at the little t- thingamabob. And it could here. suck. Like, <laughs> it could, we could add a little you could attachment. Make it, you could shape it like the rabbit toys yeah. and give it like an extra mouth to be like, like I won't go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mm. like, I do it for vanity and I miss chicken. And I have been eating insane the past three weeks. Like I've been eating the most out of pocket I have in my whole life. And I do think it's made a difference. Like I I was about to say, I haven't noticed a difference. I thought your skin looks fucking awesome. I'm wearing makeup. I like, you know what it is? It's, It's like tiny. Like my breakouts from when I eat like everything aren't like, I don't. Okay. You don't eat everything. That's like impossible. You're so annoying. It, it, like, comes after. So, like, I, like, spent a week not eating any, like, crazy shit again because I was like, okay, I actually have to stop. Because when I was in Miami, I literally, like, had pig's feet. I had, like, a bite of lamb. Like, I was like, anything you put in front of me, I'll eat. Like, You're I was eating eater fish shit. again. Like, I was just eating anything. Because also, like, y'all are fear-mongering the fuck out of me online and I'm convinced the world is going to end. So, I'm like, fuck it. I have to do literally everything I want, like, now. Like, Dude, the online <laughs> like, climate change fear-mongering is I'm the like, scariest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my entire life. What? What am I going to do? Like, <laughs> like, I, like of How? course, I understand that little things, like, driving my car less, like, less emissions. Like, awesome. Like, I don't have to drive everywhere or whatever. Yeah. Like, okay, like, consume less Whose fault is that? Okay. Whose fault is it? Yeah, I, like, what the am i gonna do bitch i can't even i i genuinely can't even tie my shoes right yeah that's true that's why you wear your pilgrim shoes everywhere <laughs> but like, is on her pilgrimage yeah because i have to like i have to like remove myself from society because <laughs> i am the sole proprietor of killing the earth <laughs> yeah i mean i eat meat because i mean i don't eat as you much eat meat, meat. you're fucking gay i don't eat meat as <laughs> 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 it took me a second to clock that. Um, I don't eat meat as much as I used to, and I can't eat steak anymore. Like I had like the nicest steak. You couldn't put steak. 
No. Anywhere near my face. I had the nicest steak of my entire life probably like a month ago or two months ago when I was back in Texas. And it was like the first two or three bites. I was like, wait, like I get it. I get red meat. I understand <laughs> like what you mean by this. Like I understand it. And then like I had one just like off bite and I tasted the entire farm. Like I tasted the cow shit. Like it was absolutely rancid. And I just like it ruined the entire meal for me. It immediately ruined the entire meal for me. And I was like, this is why I can't do red meat as often as I used to. And then also like chicken, like I will eat chicken every for every fucking meal. I don't care. Like I love chicken. Dude, chicken tastes so fucking good. I was yeah. just thinking literally as you were talking about that, I was fantasizing about like, like Cuban, like grilled chicken with like the onions mm. all oh, over shit. it. Oh shit, that shit I had when I was in Ever Miami. Sat. Oh yeah, we yeah. had it in Miami, dude. Oh, so good. Like every time I see something oh, like that. Oh, it's seasoned like, with like lemon. It's like super lemony. I know, it's like, like very citrusy wow. and it's so delicious. And then you get some yuca on the side. Yeah. It's just like, okay, if y'all are going to sit here and tell me that the world is going to end in like five days, like I'm going to like do whatever I want. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm going to drive my car 3,000 miles. <laughs> I'm going to take the emissions shit off my car and drive it. I don't give a shit. I'll ruin the earth. No, but actually like I will say, I don't know. This is like completely just like coming out of my ass. It's not backed by science at all. And are I you could, about to give one of your other fucking conspiracy theories? It's not a conspiracy. It's just like how I, it's just like how I process this okay, informa okay. In information. A lot of it, I feel like, is coming from a good place, like this fear mongering, like it's like, if you don't do this now, we will die. But part of me is kind of like, that's not the way to like convince people, like like change their minds on this. Like if there was a scientist or like a journalist or something, like reporter or whatever, like out there saying like, yo, like look at the good that we've, created from like fixing our emissions and our like yeah, carbon footprint like whatever like i feel like more people would be like yo like yes but like at the end of the day there's always just going to be billionaires just like destroying the earth like just to make money and like bitch there's not going to be an earth to spend your fucking money in if you kill it with all your bullshit but whatever um also whatever. there's like the funniest the only like i'm like the funniest thing to come out of the world ending and like like global warming is every single company in the world deciding all of a sudden that they are also green like bitch when i get on a flight i know damn well that <laughs> jet blue is not green yeah Je you are not green they and they lie their ass off they it's drag it logo. so hard they're like they're like oh my god and we've been doing this for 10 years i'm like okay, why are you lying liar like no you're it's, lying. there is like this certain form of like i forget the word for it but there is like it's like don't believe everything you see that's like green like if you like go into like target or whatever and it's like green like like created ethically or whatever yeah, like, i don't think there's necessarily none of it's any real. laws about lie you, you i feel like you can lie about being like this is fully recyclable because also like most Recycling plastics are not recyclable mm -mm. like if you like me being like anti-recycling but what i'm saying is like bitch when i buy i'm thinking of a specific product but i won't say it because it's like by a famous person and if i see this famous person i have to act like i don't know who they are when i see them but like this famous person had a product and it was like this is the new packaging and it's 100 percent recyclable it was literally the same packaging as their old one just in a different color and it wasn't even like that fake speckled you know when they do like the fake speckled yeah. plastic to make you really think it's recycled yeah like i'm like no like you cannot convince me bitch let me see the factory i'm going give me a ticket like, like, I'm, going. I'm going i'm going i'm going like send me abroad <laughs> like i want to go <laughs> bitch you just want to get flewed out like that's what it i is. want to get flown out so bad i don't understand like it's i've been on the internet for seven years not it's once flown out time it really is time. literally not once flown out for like a gig like i mean kind of for tour but like no we were being like abused as kids that's different we <laughs> no were... i'm in our tour we were kind of flewed out, but we were we like... We were being abused. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, but I mean like not... But we were being flown out like to do like... To work all day for like... W that was different. I mean, I want to be flown out and put up in a nice hotel room yeah. for like a fucking week. And then have two days out of that week where I have to work for a company. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of it, I get to lollygag. Yes. I, I, I don't get flown out to lollygag. Me complaining about like... The most unrelated. I'm like, <laughs> I want to be flown out to lollygag. I think, I mean, I think it is relatable. Like, I think everybody wants to be flown out. See, guys, this is how you know that, like, there will always be relatability between us. Because, like, you might look at me and be like, oh, my God, Enya is, like, like 
quote, I'm quoting my hands for if you can't see, like famous and like important. No, I am not. Companies fucking hate me and I am so unimportant to like majority companies. <laughs> and also like I am not that cool in like any social scene. Yeah. Um, Ricky and Denzel on their podcast were like, said the funniest thing they were like dude being on the floor in the club is so I embarrassing. Saw that. i was like that's literally me i was like, like wait i've like literally never been not on the floor in the club <laughs> i was like i've only exist on the Bitch, floor i pay rent on the floor yeah like, i'm I a fucking the- cockroach <laughs> I, I, it, i'll do you one better i am literally on the floor rolling I, I'll around i'll do you one better i am the floor i'm People the mop. Are on top of me they're <laughs> stepping on me and walking around i'm me. the mop that mops up the floor <laughs> at the club afterwards the piss and vomit um but yeah i was like maybe if we like put our foot forward we would be in these scenes but no i, don't, I just don't i just think we are just too nuanced people like we're too nuanced persons I don't, I don't know. I just genuinely don't understand why we're not loved by brands. <laughs> no, we say that. And then, like, what do we spend our free time doing watching lightning compilations? Girl. The, <laughs> that shit is, like, actually the best, like, the, the most fun I've had in a very <laughs> long time was I- just laughing at people getting struck by lightning <laughs> and trees getting struck by lightning also we're not like watching people like die getting struck it's yeah like we people, make it to make it very clear yeah it, it's all like survival stories but like then it's caught on video and the videos are like so funny it's like the craziest shit i've ever seen it's just like out of literally out of nowhere this person just fucking falls and i i just can't describe we'll it you do, have to watch uh, it maybe i would love to do a reaction video on my channel but now we've watched it twice and i'm like okay it can't be funny a third time but i mean like, it was just as funny last ever, night i think you know what it is too like anything you watch when you're like delusionally tired after 11 30 p.m yeah like is the 11 30 giggles like yeah I fully um, agree. But yeah, we just like watched lightning compilations and watching trees explode. The sounds, the shit makes like the <laughs> transformers make when they get struck by lightning. And then the sound thunder, the th- the sound of thunder is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That's it like literally is nature's fart. Yeah. Like, it's, it is big fart. It's nature's snapshot. Screenshot. Dude, Orion saying that was literally the funniest thing ever. Like, <laughs> Dude. um, Fuck, I was gonna say something. You know what? Maybe that's why, like, global warming, like, of course I understand how serious it is and, um, like, how detrimental it will be, especially to, like, um, a lot of third world countries specifically, because I literally took a class about it. Communism, climate change 101. Okay. <laughs> like, that La- was lazy, class. lazy socialist <laughs> algebra. <laughs> I'm just going to read some of them now. COVID Muzzle 101. Kamala Harris History. <laughs> Joe Biden Gave Us Home. <laughs> um, for Joe reference, Biden. I'm on that bus. I want to get on the Joe Biden Gay Bus. For reference, I'm. The, it's this new school be like <laughs> meme that I found that I'm reading from. It's None of those are my jokes. I will credit the joke writer when i find it but <laughs> joe biden gave us home um but i think with the reason that like my brain one as a simple brains like dumb human and i will always claim that to my grave i say i think every episode that i am stupid i cannot grasp you are <laughs> like so annoying <laughs> like, that, it's literally 99 degrees that here. fucking hurt my shoulder <laughs> So bad, dude. I have no muscles. Okay, keep going. Um, what's his shirt? Uh, Half Life. It's cute. Oh, Half-Life dude, I love two. the distress thing on that so much. I don't know. Isn't it really nice? I have to get better at like, I, I... Half Life Two from the thrift, Wrangler's camo, Josh's closet, Yeezy slides, Yeezy dot com, Uniqlo socks, uh, Heaven by Marc Jacobs, best friend necklace. <laughs> Your turn. Do you want me to go? Do you know what I'm referencing? Is it when they stop people and they're like, what is that? Like, what are no, you wearing? No, it's like when they're like standing up to the camera. And they're like... And they're oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said TikToks. Dude, sometimes um, I just forget words. Front general in New York. Like, Japanese denim. Um, Celine loafers. Oh. White socks from Amazon. Um, a shirt that literally when we were at the Rose Bowl, I 
took from this lady because I was like, she's just being nice to me. But we were there when it was closing and she had a truck full of clothes and was like, get something, like get a shirt, like take a shirt for free. And I was like, oh, are you sure? She was like, yeah, it was literally from the dollar bin. We just need to get rid of them. And I was like, oh, okay. And I grabbed this thinking like I'm never going to wear it. And I've worn it so many times because I think it's like Slay. such a flattering fit. Um, all my earrings are from like jewelry stores. Um, just like random jewelry spots or uh, the M jeweler like some uh, of them yeah. are from there most of them are random and you can't get them sorry i get it i like i get it all over the world new york miami los angeles i'm crazy <laughs> and then i have the other half of the besties, the besties for the resties necklace from heaven have on this was um, gifted <laughs> i literally forgot what the fuck i was saying we get oh gifted. also my rings are slayana.com you should look that up it's oh real yeah website. my bracelets are power balance um grease star bracelet that i've had for literally seven years on this wrist and then my uh everyone in my family has literally one no one who's died. listening to this could see this like <laughs> <laughs> like we like literally just fully forgot what we were doing <laughs> and like started existing well this is um this is a bracelet that everybody in my family um got when my brother died oh that's so ugly and then i have <laughs> um a rubber band i have to literally just fucking rubber band people i will pop the you shit won't, out of you you won't bitch. do shit to me i will hit you on you, camera I, you literally won't that's the thing that's the thing you're trying to gaslight me into like physically abusing you on camera <laughs> dude that's like someone pointed that out like literally all i do is just like it's not gaslighting. I just know like <laughs> how to get a reaction out of you, and I. That's love... what gaslighting is. <laughs> no, it's literally not. But I just like say shit that I know. I know will... how to make you upset and make you feel like you're the you crazy are one. the perpetrator. <laughs> but crazy. no, I just say like stupid shit, and then like I'll look at you, and then you'll give the exact reaction I want, and it's perfect. My bracelets are also from random jewelry stores. Actually, some Crap. of my jewelry is literally from my earrings. Like, f four of my earrings are from my mommy. Oh, and my chain is from my dad that he Ooh, bought in 1989. Crap. Hey, okay. I forgot what I was fucking saying, bitch. Hmm. I was, oh, I That's was talking about problem. how, like, I think part of my, you're so annoying. Part of my brain can't comprehend how serious global warming is because it's the same part of my brain that finds lightning strike videos funny. Because <laughs> it's like, literally, we are just living on a planet. Like, we are just on, oh. like, Mother Nature is so funny. Like, of course, natural disasters aren't funny, but they're like comedic to me in the sense that it's like literally what the fuck are we supposed to do? Listen to this. Also, don't quote me on this because <laughs> this may sound the most ignorant I've ever sounded in my entire life. But listen to this, what we were talking about the other day. What if all these natural disasters that are happening now and more frequent, I say with air quotes, is because we're just more like connected like we're, we're, we just are seeing more of it because everyone has a camera on it and then also on top of that what if it's because the news and the me the news and the media where is the news and the media the news and the media know that like people will tune in more when the world is ending um they're like oh my god the, the newest flood just dropped we well, gotta like th cut that's kind of like a lot of people are against um, like um like classic styled news because that's what the news is like of course if you were ever watching the news as a kid they try to like filter in i think like two good, good stories shit. yeah like this puppy saved a kid's life like yeah. or something like that but for the most part it's literally just like replaying the same footage like i was watching the news for the first time the other day um when hurricane ida struck and it was actually insane how they like replay the same like b-roll because i'm um, first of all i'm like get more b-roll like yeah you're literally in the middle of a flood there's like a million things to film like why am i looking at the same like random footage of like a car sitting in water wait how iconic would it be if an earthquake just happened that would not be iconic it would suck balls i guess if it was a the big one's coming the big one's coming um when i was on twitch there was an earthquake so i i like there's live footage of me reacting to an earthquake uh, but i want Texas. the i want the big one stop fucking saying that because that shit actually pisses me off and like that's a, a, one more reason to move out of la because i'm like bitch a hurricane i grew up in hurricanes I i'm moving to wyoming hurricane. huh i'm moving to wyoming you're annoying. I'm going to punch you in the face. Kanye and Jeffree Star live out there. 
my besties. Oh, speaking of Kanye, we said we were going to kind of make a comment on um, Drake album and kanye's album mm. and like so that drake guy i as a lot of you know i've never really like i've never heard his music of course like when i'm in a club i if you like played it i'd be like oh this kind of sounds familiar but i can't tell you who's like singing like do, does he sing or no he he, he raps and yeah you know who the fuck oh. drake is you just listened to his album like oh yeah no i see i already forgot but oh that's what i was gonna say is i i gave it a go because i was like all right i'm talking a lot about having sex with this man maybe i should know what he does yeah so I gave the album a listen, and I actually decided I don't know that I like the way he talks about women. Oh. So I don't know if I would have sex with him. Like character um, growth, baby, character development. But this I'm is loving also, this art. This is also you. me playing hard to get because if he knows like I like don't fuck with him, and I also don't like his music, he he'll be like, oh my god, she's so slay and like different. And, like we have to cut that. I'm part not out. like the other girls. Yeah, I just don't like Drake. Like. Well, you just said you want... Huh? I'm really... You're giving really weird signals right now. Like, do you want to have sex with Drake or not? Wait, who's that? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> but, like, I was saying, like, this Kanye guy. I've never, <laughs> ever heard of this guy in my life. Wait, you're trying to have sex with him? I mean, after listening to his music, yeah. And that's our review on the albums. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we actually think of the albums is, for me, they both are incredibly mid. Um, and this whole Drake versus Kanye feud that had the inter- or the internet has conjured up is so pointless. Um, because both the albums fucking suck. Not fucking suck, but both of them are just like, like whatever. If I had to choose one of the albums, I would choose Donda. Because I have a bias towards uh Kanye at the end of the day the thing is at the end of the day I think I like both of them just as much yeah exactly they are literally both I like went through a humongous like Kanye and Drake phase in high school like simultaneously like beginning of high school all I listened to was or like end of middle school all I listened to was like Kanye then beginning like freshman to junior all I listened to was Drake and then obviously Life of Pablo came out during that and that was like in the mix too. Yeah. And then once like senior year to literally like 28, like 19, all I listened to was like Kanye. And then I started listening to Drake again recently in the past year. Um, so literally they both have equal spots in my head. And yeah, both of the albums are like mid. Like Yeah. Both of them are just not A lot of the funny. Kanye album, I don't know why, literally makes me laugh. Like Dude, the- I think it makes me laugh because I'm like I don't know. It's she's just funny. I'm like, there's way too much music on that album. Way dude, too I don't, much. There, he could have made it ten be a songs part long. Two to like eight songs. He he could have made it ten songs long, and it actually would have been like a really decent album. But he put thirty six songs on there, and it's fourteen hours long, and it's just like whatever. I like was trying to listen to it before this episode because I actually also haven't even listened to the full thing because some of the songs like got annoying to me yeah. and I would like skip it and I, or like I would just be like well, what is happening but um you just don't have an open mind and an, op- or an open mind and an open heart to God no the exact to Kanye mm-hmm. um well, um bitch what were you gonna say I was just gonna say some of the there's like four of those drake songs that i like i'm like this is awesome and it reminds me of like old drake i'm too sexy for my shirt i hate that one I that is the that cringiest idea. shit i've ever heard in my entire life and the fact that y'all let that song of every song on the drake album be the one that Dude, blows he up knew it. He, like it, it's like the fucking lesbian line he said that shit because he knew what it would do yeah. to the internet like especially in this like cl- like climate of like conversation around sexuality he knew if he said he's a lesbian like it would either ruffle feathers or like get a bunch of people like cracking up at it and i think because he gets mean so hard he's like i'm gonna be the like the one to me myself and I'm yeah like, dude that's something that is actually terrifying literally no matter who you are like so or, and no matter like whatever whatever no matter the celebrity they are all becoming memes of themselves and it's like terrifying i think kai said that and i was like 
holy fucking shit i like, fucking hate it it's like, it's stop. scary it's I like please take yourself fucking seriously and let us be the memes of ourselves like i don't let, let the let the internet comedians do the memeing like that's literally our job like why are you trying to take our job too it's so like terrifying it's absolutely like terrifying um but yeah like race my mind off of certified lover boy i also just hate the term i used to be a lover boy so that's my that's yeah. my favorite line off of that album. That's not a line on the album. Do you think he did that on purpose? Where he the whole like meme where BBL Drake like shaking your head to Well, that wasn't him. No, the meme was to that song and then Drake's album came out and it be, it was called Certified Lover Boy. He's been teasing Certified Lover Boy for like a minute though. How I long? think before the meme. Mm. Like literally I remember him seeing like calling himself Lover Boy like fucking forever ago. Well, the correlation's that's he, there. That's the, why he the put conspiracies the conspiracies are already rolling, darling. Like, You're the only one who has said that. Well, now everybody else listening gets it too. So you you've are heard, so annoyed. You've heard of post nut clarity. Well, now that's literally what I was looking for. Is for our fucking. <laughs> well, now I'm dropping a new bomb today. <laughs> Pre nut insanity. Okay. But here's my argument to this. There is no sanity in horniness at all. So I don't even believe. No, in- Prina insanity. No, I'm saying like. I don't- so you're horny and insane. I, Prina insanity. I know. I think. But even after you nut, you are still insane because like. Girl, why is this a debate right now? It's post nut clarity, pre nut insanity. Okay, then why the fuck did you say it, bitch? The fuck you want me to be like, mm-hmm. Exactly. Be like, yep. <laughs> Exactly. I would argue that there is no sanity in horniness at all before or after. You've never nutted to some... <laughs> I, okay, no, we're not having that conversation, bitch. <laughs> <babe. laughs> <laughs> okay, like... And been absolutely there's appalled. There's still insanity in that because it's like, why can I not just like accept the fact that that like did it for me? Like, why, well, like, why do I have to like fight that feeling? And that is insanity to me kings are just taboos it's just what we can't have exactly and that's what i'm saying it's still like insane so even within the clarity there is insanity i'm so lost right now all i, I, all I wanted to do is just drop prina insanity and i want to see Every people episode, using it you're trying to like make something no i just want someone to say oh yeah like you know what you did good today you did really good today you came up with prina insanity you, but you you're didn't good. even come up with that today but I came up with it like two What's weeks ago. What's the new thing for today? Two weeks ago and yeah. nothing new. Not, well, I, <laughs> well, I came up with this today and I was going to just save it for a good moment when you're talking. Um, but I'm just going to drop it now. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Oh, God. Wait, Zamar squirting ketchup on someone at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was... I thought she knew, and I was like, that's not that funny. Like, that's actually, like, whatever. But yeah. the fact that she, <laughs> he accidentally squirted ketchup on this woman, and then she had no idea, and they both went their separate ways, and neither of them will ever interact again, except she has ketchup stains all over her. And she thought it was me, I bet, because she was eyeballing me fucking squirt ketchup on my hot dog. She was eyeballing you squirt ketchup on your hot dog. Because it was making her horny. Because she saw you holding a wing. I just, I have the tendency to do that to all genders. No matter who you are, what you love, what you like. Really? Because this is the only time you've, like, that you making someone horny has come up and it's only been a woman. What about the hay incident? Shut up! (laughs) No, we have to save that for an episode. I was going to be like, that could be our Valentine's episode. It's literally September 8th. Like, apparently the world's going to be done. Yeah, that's 10 years away. Um, but yeah, when we were at the fair, Zamar literally just <laughs> coated a woman in ketchup and didn't say anything. <laughs> she didn't notice. And it was just the funniest thing. Also, I keep looking at my phone because I'm looking at our topics. Oh, here's what I need to talk about. I need to just admit to the world that I am like chismosa as fuck. Like mm. I am very nosy and it's honestly getting worse with age. Like you would think like with age, it would go away, but it's getting worse. I'm getting more and more eavesdroppy and like awful um for instance i was at the beach with my friend and like we were sitting in the fucking 
I'm like I, I'm like t- like cracking up in my head because I'm the friend I'm talking about is Sabrina who watches the episodes, <laughs> so she's gonna be like, "That's literally me. Why don't you say my name?" <laughs> um, but I was at the beach with Sabrina and we were like just like laying out, like sunbathing and talking, and there was these two guys in front of us, and she could not hear them, but I literally have supersonic hearing that is made to eavesdrop. Do not talk around me because I am listening. Like if you see me in public, do not talk. Because I will be listening. Unless you're like saying something to me. Because then I won't be listening to you. I will be listening to someone else. <laughs> I um, I remember when you used to uh, be angry at me when I would be nosy and eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. Um, and now you're, because as a man, why the fuck are you eavesdropping? You're like, stealing my gig. No, as a man, why are you eavesdropping? That's literally none of your business. You're being invasive and like scary. Because but as a woman... It is my duty to listen to other people in case someone's in danger. That's that's what I'm doing, like, cause I'm gonna go save the day. <laughs> I'm gonna be a real burly man and step in if shit gets crazy. Uh, but the guy at the beach, literally, I was like, first of all, not to like sit here and like call someone ugly, but like you're fucking ugly. Like why? Like you're not like you're lying. Like I guess like the standards for men are like way lower. Like ugly guys still fuck. It's like gir- like pretty girls just like have to like wait. Like, the fact that literally like almost everyone on earth, like a majority of people on earth, have had sex before. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some motherfuckers <laughs> that like should not be boning. Dude, this guy also. I have the right to call him ugly because of the way he was talking about women. I was like, you are a fucking monster, and you like, I'm gonna put you in jail. Like, I hate you. He was like, he was just talking. It, this is how it started what he was saying he was like yeah and like she got really mad because like i was seeing this girl on the side and like they know each other and dude it's actually crazy like i saw them in the same room and they were hella chilling and like neither of them knew about the other like it was so crazy like okay me like i was fucking both of them on the side and like neither of them knew me alpha male shit and then he was like and then when like I'm just like, if you find out and you're like actually like mad about it, then you can fucking keep going. Like I, you are going to be replaced. And he was like, cause I'll just fuck on this girl. And then at some point you'll come back to me anyways. So like, Facts. I still get both pussies. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you were He's serving. He was serving lies. I'm like, you're lying. <laughs> like, why are you lying? And then the guy started talking about this girl who both of them knew. And he was like, oh, she's, she's hard to get. Like I was working with her and she still would have let me fuck. And then like, Next thing you know, I was fucking her in my office. And she was giving me fucking head in my office. That's the first girl to, like, swallow my dick. That's actually Ew. a lie. No girl's ever actually been able to swallow my dick. But, like, she got close enough. She Ew. got the closest out of all of them. And I was like... I- also, there, there's something to be said that's very homoerotic no, to be, like, fully. talking to your boy about that. Oh, my God, fully. He literally started, like, mimicking the way he was fucking this girl on the beach in front of a family. And, like, a bunch of strangers. And I was like, you... Like, just say you have, like, a kink for, like public sex with your friend like y'all should just like start making out y'all should just put your inhibitions aside and kiss and see if there is something there explore each other's do you think they explored each other's bodies after that (laughs) dude it was so insane and like he just went on for so long and like he was talking about having sex with so many girls in such a short span of time and i'm like that's not happening and like you're lying right now like you're literally lying Granted, I had no business, like, listening to him anyways, but he was talking loud as fuck. Like, he wanted me to hear. Yeah. He probably (laughs) did. No, literally. Because then also, so fucking gross, when me and Sabrina got up, he literally, uh, also while he was talking, they were both standing and looking at the water and not looking at us or, like, looking at each other. They were both standing and looking at the water and he would, like, turn to his friend every now and then. I'm not kidding. The second me and Sabrina stood up to, like, put our clothes back on, he fully turned around like 180 turned around and his friend still kept looking the other way and he started staring at us while we were like getting dressed and me and elisa were just like i mean i mean elisa me and sabrina were literally just like crumbled up like putting our clothes on as fast as we could because he was like looking at us um and that's dude women have it like so hard oh my god you're so like empathetic can we fuck yeah like women just like have periods and like they like they have to just be looked at and like objectified like that shit sucks like i feel for you don't fucking touch me <laughs> <laughs> that's literally every boy on tiktok it's like, <laughs> your my, ass. Hip, my hip my my whole leg is numb do you know when it goes numb and yeah. like you have pins and needles and if you move it like an inch 
Yeah. Motherfucker. Can we literally go out to like a bar tonight and just like eavesdrop? Yeah, I'm actually Eavesdropping down. on drunk people no, is the best. The best place to do it is at the cart catcher at like Walmart or Target. Those are the best places to eat people watch. No, uh, that's the best place to people watch. But I mean, like for you people can tell a lot about a person. Um, if they put the cart back. Yeah. Yeah. That like that's like really says all you need to know. There's another one of those where it's like okay, like if you put your cart back, you're like a fairly like moral person. You care about the well being of others. But if you like leave it in the middle of the thing, you literally don't give a shit, and you all you're a narcissist and you care about yourself and no one else. And, or but you're in a rush, but yeah. But I mean, like I've been in rush situations, and I always put. The oh no, back. you're like the most moral grounded person ever. Keep going though. I <laughs> tea, like thank you, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I am, so <laughs> thank you. Um, no, there's another one where it's like... Um... <laughs> you were going to say something stupid. You were literally going to say something so fucking stupid. No, go. What were you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> like, as a man, it's my duty to make the girl come four times. <laughs> <laughs> that's that just, that's just, even in line with like, this is the type of person I am, you know. Oh, you're so nice. You make girls squirt and stuff. You make sure your girl squirts. <laughs> yeah, we should just talk about how we missed the first two weeks of lockdown. <laughs> we should move on. Um, I literally I miss, do. I miss it. You, I, unironically, I miss it. And does that make me privileged? Maybe yes. It makes me a little privileged because my lockdown was fine uh, whatever but i missed the first two weeks of lockdown and i'll say it with my fucking chest um i do but you know what i realized i think what i miss about it is the weather interesting Because if we had that weather because that was like in march like early march and that's literally the best some of the best weather in la because it's like drizzling it's like really chilly on the days that it's raining yeah and that was like the first two weeks so it was just like cold and nice in the house we were playing animal crossing and like tell me why i just like got like kind of like teary-eyed thinking about like just how okay it's never mind that's so gnarly. i was gonna say it was like cute because like we were like do we wear masks like do we not wear masks that's not cute <laughs> like people are dying like i mean it was just like it, it was just interesting because of like you know it what was it was history. it was, it was like historic. a it was like a very vulnerable moment in like society mm -hmm. and i think that's what like the sweet part of it was it was like everybody was just on a human level of like it was like oh, wait. natural su survival and like vulnerability of like oh shit like we are all the same yeah like and we, then we all started going fucking insane i know <laughs> then it literally like it went from being like yeah, like fucking man. wear your mask like, like two funny weeks. little coffee and like it's only two TikTok. weeks it's two weeks Dude, I remember I thought two weeks was a long time when, yeah. when I first heard about it because of like our friends, parents who are doctors, we got like the scoop like a little earlier, like no offense. Yeah, they let us know like two weeks before, yeah. like they were like, they're going to shut this shit down, like y'all prepare. We, yeah, and we were like, that's not going to actually happen. Like you're lying to us. Um, and I was like, two weeks, like you expect me to stay inside for two weeks as if I fucking go out that much anyways. But I was like pissed off because I was like, two weeks. And then I was like, this is the new normal. And I was terrified of it. But now I kind of love it. Because, like, now I just don't go out anymore. Which is, like, kind of nice. I grew I up. I still slay the town. I grew up. I grew as a person. Me too. There actually. are people dying. There are people dying. I should Why be in school. Why am I up here? <laughs> I should be in school Greta right now. Thunberg. This is this episode was me declining global warming <laughs> and making fun of Greta Thunberg. Why Not a good look, here? sis. And us glorifying the first two weeks of COVID when people were literally dying. I'm problematic. These are just my opinions. Like, have I if ever claimed you? to be the best person in the world? No. Do I know right from wrong? Yes. Do I believe that I am like morally like in the right direction? Yes. But like, am I silly? Like, Do I have fun? Like, am I silly? Am I am. Am I saying what everyone's thinking? Probably. Like I am just I'm like, brave enough. People might say that I'm the martyr of hope. <gasps> Actually true. I do believe that. <laughs> now that we're missing Can I suck on your fingers? No, you can't fucking suck on my fingers. What the fuck is wrong with you? You you know what? A lot of people watching would would have said yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. But you know what I've been thinking of recently? Okay, I actually have to the find this. The cat is escaping! 
<laughs> Do you know, humble yourself because you know. Oh, like I know. you know, like I know that I will humble you. Dude. Cheese Mosa. Dude, I just am. Oh, the other thing I was going to is... I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. Keep going. Is mimosa, but instead of oranges, it's cheese. Bitches must really not understand that you cannot compete where you don't compare. Nope. She was speaking. Yep. And the level that I'm on, your best bet is to take the little bit that you're getting. Like, calm down before I humble you. And you know, like I know, that I will humble you. She ate. So carry, on. so carry on. I love so carry on. Dude, literally 5.3k views. Like no, she. That is like one of the most iconic. I'm not kidding. Jay Z the, the reason that got brought up is in the Jay Z and Drake song on Certified Lover Boy. Jay Z literally steals from her and mm. like says what she was saying in that video. He literally is like, "Your best bet is to sit down before I humble you." Damn. Like he, like word I, for word. Yeah. Damn. Um, well, my favorite video right now is one that you brought to my attention last night. <laughs> <laughs> the devil made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say the devil made me do I it. I know exactly where her head was at. <laughs> like, she was like, ooh, like, filter. Like, I'm going to just, like, act a little bit. Like, yeah, she, you know, she was, like, looking through the filters on yeah. IG, and she's like, I like this one. Yeah, and she did it, and she say. served. The devil made me. Do Let's it. just say the devil made me do it. Let's just say I'm gonna piss my pants. Do you I always pee? have to I pee. Could, I could take some. I could take some off of you. Would it be like an interesting idea for me to pee in the middle of the episode? No, that would not be an interesting idea because we'd have to cut it. Yeah, oh, no, y'all could. Actually, speaking of fucking cheese mosa, you look at my phone all the fucking time. You have seen. I I know you've seen me sexting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I would. Inya, Inya's just like. Her phone's open. I do it to... It's not just Inya. I, like... I watch everyone's phone. And it's not even, like, ooh, I'm getting the scoop. Like, it's, like, no, I'm trying to get my screen time down. So I gotta, like, look at your <laughs> screen. Like, I gotta see but what you you're doing. you just see me, like, being fucking gross. And then I'm, like, embarrassed. Because I'm... I am, like... No, the, the last time... The only time I've ever seen you, like, being horny on your phone was literally when you were showing me something on your phone and, and it, it came up. yeah it opened up and i didn't even see it and then i wouldn't have realized it if you didn't say it but well, then i only said it because you had a video of my phone oh i was showing oh. this so this one was different it was when my phone was breaking the last text i sent was literally fucking like it was like funny but it was like gross um <laughs> I, I actually didn't go look at it guess who's going to jedi Guess who's going to jail tonight? Guess who's getting some cock tonight? Me! <laughs> um, but yeah, he like always is looking at my fucking phone. The other day I was texting. From the back seat, he straight up started talking about what I was texting someone about. Like, didn't he even like be like, sorry, I'm looking at your phone. He started just giving his two cents of my conversation over a text. And my two cents were true. You don't even remember what we were talking about. Nope. I know. I don't even remember that happening. Dude, I have decided that, like, I am, like, an NPC. Like, I'm not a, like, like, you know how everyone thinks they're the main character? Like, bitch, no, my brain is empty now. Like, I have yeah, I agree no with thoughts in my head anymore. Like, I, I, and it's kind of, like, scaring me because I used to be, like, full of life. But now I'm so jaded that, like, there's nothing, like, happening inside my head. And on top of that, like, I feel like I'm, like a side character or even like just a complete npc in someone else's storyline which like i'm okay with like i'm fine with it like i feel neurotypical like the past like three weeks i felt like genuinely so normal except for when i like like drink a shit ton of caffeine or something then i like freak the fuck out and i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god but like no like now i am an npc and i think NPC Pride. Like, we should have... <laughs> we should have NPC Pride Month. Um, what I will say is I'd, I've never felt like the main character. I've always felt like the character in, like, the video game that you, like, talk to and I, like, give you hints on how to, like... NPC. Um, how to further. Yeah, I am, yeah. like... I've always felt like an NPC. But I agree with you. More recently, like, I think I realize it more in my therapy se sessions. I am less and less... Um, like 
provocative with my emotions. Like yeah. when my therapist is asking me how I feel, I'm like, oh, I just feel fucking crazy. And then I'm like, I know, I know I shouldn't say that because like, that's like a loaded word to be saying in therapy. But I just like, I either feel crazy or I feel nothing. And like, as of right now, I've been in a plane of nothingness. Like I'm going through things that from the outside, but I guess actually, no, that's, a, that's a different conversation. Cause then I would have to go into detail about like what I'm experiencing and I don't want to do that. But like, do it do it do it but i think i'm just like i'm just like whatever i don't know that i care i'm blase yeah i'm very blase and not in like a lame nihilistic way but like azula's eating my goddamn plant oh my gosh oh motherfucker yes. <gasps> she was is she did she chomp on it big time yes. no i'm gonna fucking kill myself actually i'm gonna fucking kill myself like this is actually like the saddest day of my goddamn life Oh no! Are we gonna is it bad? In? Yes, we're leaving the same. It's, it's not the worst. We'll just put it. We'll watch. <gasps> it's not. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. <laughs> oh! We'll just keep it here for the rest of the episode. We'll watch her. I'm gonna fucking vomit. Stop! I'm actually gonna vomit. <laughs> Stop, Drew. Well, Azul's also gonna vomit, so that's the good news. Dude, oh my God, he ate no Inya. This is all him. I didn't even realize That's all it. him. He was eating the fuck out of that like a fucking snail. He's getting spankings. I'm not kidding. I'm going to spank the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How much was this? Way too much. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'll get, it's all I'm good. Gonna get, I'm going to get a spray to like spray around that area of the couch so that... It, it's all good. I, it shouldn't have been there anyways. Like I knew he was going to eat it. But that motherfucker. I'll buy a different plant for that corner. We could put this one by the TV so he can't reach it. Yeah. But he'll get to those leaves. But well, he's not those touching leaves. those leaves. That ju- he, he just saw the biggest one and was like, I'm going to fucking ruin Drew's day. I'm going to ruin <laughs> Drew's day. And I and it did. He worked. He worked. He's manipulative. Azul, when I No, say, Azul is the worst fucking cat. He's actually, I fucking hate he's him. He's so actually much. manipulative. Like, he knows what he's doing and he does it to, like, either get under your skin or because he, like, He's like deprived of attention for some reason when he's not. He's yeah, always he gets touched. so much and, attention. And he does these stupid little things like eating my fucking plants because he knows I'm going to touch him later. Like, dude, he's so annoying. Like he like actually makes me so fucking mad. And then I'm like, oh, he, this is like, this plant is a pussy. I know. I fucked it later. You fucked it later. That doesn't make sense. The future exists already. <laughs> we have predetermined destinies. Um, you would know that if you listen to me. Anyways, bitch, Azul's so fucking annoying. I just got back from my trip and literally she's been yelling every night and she like will get into fits where she yells, but it is like the worst it's ever been. Like her yelling because she's being mean and she's coming next to my head and doing it. Like, hell no. She like starts at the, th- at the door and then will like move to my head and was sitting on my chair next to my vanity in my bed and looking at me and screaming <laughs> until I woke up. Oh, he's a good boy. I, love I fucking him. hate him. I love his big little belly. Um, so I'm going to start spraying him with water his, until he stops. His big belly. Because when he's being good, he just sleeps with me all night. He's got a good belly. No, the, I, it's my fault. <laughs> it really is my fault because when you were gone i would just leave your door open at night and he could go to and fro um yeah he's he's like used to freedom and now he hates me because he's like pissed about it because he's like i want to do this but i don't give a fuck i'm gonna spray the shit out of him with some water and like i think yeah there's no winning in that situation you could get a cat door installed no bitch there's no I want there's him to sleep absolutely him. no winning in that situation like you have to spray him I know. I, is that like a thing that people don't agree with, like sp- like spray bottling your cats? If Azul, if you had a cat as annoying and like a piece of shit like Azul, Azul is so lucky. He's the cutest cat in the world. Like yeah, he's very he was, lucky that he's. If like, he beautiful. didn't have his little belly and his like cute little big eyes and oh, his little squeezable face, um, he would be on the streets. Literally, if Azul was like a grown ass person, if Azul was like a toddler like size like animal, I would fist fight it. <laughs> like if Azul was like if Azul could no, be if an he equal could, match, yeah, I would fist fight him. If he could be if he could take up for himself, I think. <laughs> also, ew, I don't want it to be thought that I like am mean to Azul. I'm way too nice and no, that's why he's a fucking yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, Inya's way too good to him. Um as am I. Like but Every, when, everyone gives him exactly what he wants. When he yells, we give him exactly what he wants, so he's a piece of shit. And then when he <laughs> doing doesn't it. get what he wants, he gets so He's mean. an actual toddler. I actually can't believe he did this. Because he didn't do this part. This no. Just, like, naturally that just, yeah, that just is because it's so big. What Motherfucker. Um, 
but yeah when enya has gone for like an extended period of time and i take care of azul for her um i fatten that motherfucker up i know because he got fat but since i got back. i feed him like two three times a day no he shouldn't be getting fed two three times a day i want him to live until i'm like 35 so but he's a good boy and he deserves the little food because it makes no him happy. he deserves the proper amount of food so that he'd be a healthy cat that lives until i'm 35 he has very few joys in life like he sees a bug maybe he once has every the three most weeks joy in life he gets like every he literally gets every single thing he wants he sees a bug once every three weeks and that's the most joy you he start gets. buying him bugs to eat and i'll let you give him feed him bugs you can look up what bugs Azul can eat um, and buy them and feed them to him. And you could feed him bugs and you could give him treats. If you want to give him treats, you give him treats. Don't give my cat a full bowl of food because you want him to be fat. I don't want him to be fat because fat but cats his don't live belly, long. His belly! Oh, he's got a squidgy belly. He's got a squidgy belly. But okay, he's not like fat. He's just like a normal cat. Weight. He's still within normal cat weight. He's just not no bitch he's, he's starting to look pudgy like <laughs> i literally i never like look at azul i'm like oh he's like gotten bigger but literally i was watching him walk down the hall and i was like bitch he's white <laughs> like he's like he got white yeah because he's got a big belly now and boy <laughs> <laughs> bitch get a squishy toy no get a squished mellow if you want something big azul's belly is the perfect squidging you pet him in his belly and you squidge it. I don't care. He's being a bitch, so I like am not gonna pay attention to him. Yes, who's going right to now. jail tonight? That's my update on Azul. And I forgot what we were talking about was before Azul started eating your shit up. Yeah, he literally committed a crime. Like, and this isn't the first time he's done this. He destroyed my monstera. Like, destroyed it. And also, he like cats are like allergic to monsteras and he still did it even after the first time it like fucked with his stomach no he literally like acclimated his body to be able to eat plants and he barely throws up yeah. uh, but he probably is gonna throw up from this and i'm gonna like when this episode is done i have to go clean up cat vomit we both lost today we both lost today <laughs> um, um fuck i'm so upset that i forgot what we were talking about non-binary nap time i can't I keep touching the pussy of this plant. <laughs> it's like fun. Oh, it's gay agenda lunchtime. I forgot. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> That's not what we were talking about. Fuck. Oh, we were talking about eavesdropping, about how you were looking at my fucking phone. But what I was going to say is I kind of had the same issue. I think I'm pretty good at like not looking. Like I'll look and then be like, oh shit, this is like, I shouldn't be looking at their phone. It's only like bad when it's someone who i'm like romantically interested in because i'm like oh my god i like will always like if someone i like is like next to me and pulls up their phone i always look because it's like it's just if someone's that close to you with your phone you're like oh they're showing me something or like they have what it open next to me because they want me to look no i don't want it to look like that i think it always looks like i'm being like like a fucking what are you hiding yeah like who are you talking to but i don't give a fuck what you use your phone for especially if you're a man you shouldn't have one in the first place um but like in general See, I, don't I don't care, care what if people eavesdrop on my phone because i do nothing wrong on my phone and i don't care no, because you do nothing on your phone it's not that you do nothing wrong you're doing literally like you have been looking you at of? the same meme since we started this fucking <laughs> every time drew has picked up his phone you're probably like damn drew's like looking at his phone what is he looking at he's literally been looking at that stupid fucking <laughs> gay agenda meme <laughs> gay agenda lunchtime joe biden gay joe biden one <laughs> gay joe biden bus no it's joe biden gay bus you um that's th the school liberals one shut up that's ever since joe biden got into the office that's it for the episode you're being cut. COVID muzzle 101. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a thing the other day that it was people who were like anti-maskers. And they were like, if people can cross the borders, why can't I eat inside? And I was like, that is like the craziest <laughs> argument I've ever heard. That is the most insane correlation ever made. If people can drive, why can I not fly a plane? Hmm? Like, that's what that felt like. Yeah. Like, what are you comparing like literally and it was like this was she literally what made it better she was like if people can cross the border in texas why can i not eat in a restaurant in new york um 
because the people crossing the border in Texas aren't a deadly aren't virus, spreading a viral killing, disease, killing everybody you love. Um, also, I saw since we're talking about conservatives just being batshit crazy, conservatives, yeah. Oh my god. They get to call us libtards, we get to call them cuckservatives. Like that's Where did you find that? I just saw it like somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Um See, that's why people could eavesdrop on your phone, because that's what you're looking at. Yeah, exactly. So I saw someone being like, This is fucking America. <laughs> I should not have to pay a subscription to go inside Costco. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh my fucking god. I was like Y'all are very, very close to, like, seeing... Like, we're very close to seeing eye to eye on, like, a lot of things. Like, yeah, we shouldn't have to pay a membership to pay groceries because that's just, like, another yeah. way to, for billionaires to make more billions. But instead of that, you make it about something completely just, like, <laughs> wrong. Just stupid. Just literally just, like, stupid. Maybe I'm classist. <laughs> you can't say that and shrug your shoulders. <laughs> Maybe I don't believe poor people should live. That might just be me. Please, no one fucking Google it. Someone's gonna like just take clip that. it, chat, clip it. And you doesn't believe in poor people. Um, no, we believe. We believe don't poor people are real. <laughs> don't speak for me. Poor people are real. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be up here. I shouldn't be up here. I should be in class learning about algebra. But I'm here telling you to save the world. Okay, no, the episode is done because you're just being stupid. All right, let's get into media. This is like in Josie and the Pussycat Dolls when there's like a backtrack that's like brainwashing people. I. We should do that. Shut up. You're going to be like, I haven't watched it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, my media for the week. Oh, my last note of what I wanted to say is shitting is literally the best pastime ever. Like, you're not wasting time because you're doing something your body needs. Mm -hmm. And it feels awesome. Do you ever, like, suck the poop back up after you put it out and just, like, get the poop twice? <laughs> you fuck yourself with a turd. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're so annoying. You don't do that, because right. I do that all the time. I do that all the time, man. Um, okay. Why do I cry? Uh, ooh, okay. I'll go first. The show of the week is Kaiba by Mi Mas Miyasaki Yusa. Oh, did you watch that? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, you were watching it when I saw you. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Um, art style's incredible. Um, it's just like, it's everything I feel like the internet wants in an anime right now, and they're just not getting, um, and it's just really fantastic. I, I, I there's not, there's not much more to say. It's really, re mm. there's some really dark shit that goes on in it, and some really like, like, um, what the fuck is happening right now? I, is this actually happening right now? Like type shit going on in it. Um, that motherfucker. He smells it and he's getting it. He's gonna get it. This motherfucker. Come here. Bite it and I'll bite you. Come here, baby. Come. Come. Um. Me. Oh, he's so cute and I love him so much. Oh, he's a good man. He's a really good boy. He knows. Yeah, he wants to eat it. It tastes good to him. Um. But yeah, that's a really good anime. You should check out. Um, maybe it's Masaki. Masaki Yuza. Oh, were you showing it to me to read it for you? Yeah. I don't know if I could read it either. Yeah, Masaki Yuza sounds right. I don't know. Yeah, but Kaiba. K-A-I-B-A is a really fantastic show. Um, anime, check it out. Um, and my song for the week is... Um, heads will roll. Heads will roll. Jersey Club remix by JTP. Um, that song should be in the zeitgeist. It's the next. It, it really is just like the most hype song ever fucking made. And there, that's all I'll say. I'm trying to think of what movie I watched on the plane. I watched two movies. I watched a few. Um, I watched The Farewell, which I had been avoiding watching because I knew it would make me cry. Yeah, and it was 
so fucking good Mm. like that movie was amazing and it like made me like so happy and like made me sob my ass off at the end um what's her name um i don't know her i think her her, like i think her like show name is aquafina but i remember seeing that she had like her or i don't know if that's her actual name i fucking love her whatever her name is oh her i think her real name is nora loom yeah, her real... I mean, her... She's just, like, one of my favorite actresses. Um, yeah, she's, like... She and her getting them. to do a serious role is yeah, really, really awesome. cool. And she, like, killed it, and it was so fucking good. Um, and then my music, because I don't want to say all the movies that I watched, because I, like, don't really sit down and watch movies that much, so I feel like I have to, like, like Space them out. them out. Um, ooh, I have, like, so much fucking music that I want to talk about. Um, when you're in love with a beautiful woman by Dr. Hook, Borderline by Madonna because it reminds me of being a kid, um, movies by Ashanti because the, um, La Tang by Blossom Deary, and those are my things. And then Pipe Down and Race My Mind by Drake. Damn. That's a lot of music. That's like 20, 20 songs. Well, now I, I'm going to say one, The Blessed Family oh, by you Emily Montez. Oh, no, you think you have to, oh, you have to like beat me. For All It's Fury reach by Devonte haynes um i actually should have saved some of that music because fantastic probably... cat oh fantastic cat thing. fantastic cat all right thank you so much for watching um and then this plant will be in every episode now to make sure that azul doesn't eat it oh my god i'm gonna fucking punch you in the face bye Kai, stop it. Kai, Kai.